Hey folks, I'm Isaac. In this video, we're going to be making the dog leash kit. Let's get started. What you're going to need for this kit are scissors, thread snips, a lighter, and a marking device. Some things that would be really nice to have would be clips, a measuring device, and tweezers. Now what's going to come in this kit is 7 feet of webbing, one snap hook, and one metal D-ring. Before we get started, you're going to want to make sure that you check your thread, your needle, and your tension, and just make sure your machine is ready to go so that your project goes smoothly. We're going to take one end of our webbing, at this point it doesn't matter which end, and we're going to measure out one and a quarter inches from that cut edge, and we're going to make a mark. Now this is going to allow us to fold over the webbing after we install our snap hook, and then it'll give us enough space to make a one inch box X stitch. Now because this is a dog leash and your furry little friend is probably going to be pulling in lots of different directions, we're going to use a box X stitch and that will just make sure that we have reinforcement in four different directions. Now there are a lot of different ways to create your box X stitch, but what we're going to do here is just make sure that we have one vertical stitch on the left, one vertical stitch on the right, and then you're going to have two crossing diagonal stitches between those two. Now because we want to get the stitch as close to the bar of the snap hook as possible, um, I'm going to have to move my needle to the right position. If you have a narrower presser foot, that might be a good way to do this, or if you can move your needle position, that works too. After completing your box X stitch on the clasp, you're going to measure out 6 feet from that clasp. This is where the end of your hand loop is going to be. Now you're going to fold over the remainder of the webbing and mark where this webbing falls on the standing line. This is where your first bar tack is going to be. So we're going to take our D-ring and we're going to install it on the end of the loop. Then you're going to take the end of that webbing and line it up with the mark you just made and then we're gonna use a bar tack to stitch them together. So pro tip here, if you wanna hide these raw edges a little bit better than this, you can fold over uh, an inch or half an inch and just sew that down. However, I will say that most home machines will struggle with doing three or four layers of 1500 pound webbing. We're gonna slide this D-ring all the way down to that bar tack that you just made. And then to finish off this hand loop, you're going to line up your presser foot with the edge of this D-ring, and that's going to be your first stitch for the box X. You're all set. Congrats on making your very own dog leash kit. Walking your dog is probably at least 23% more fun now. Check out our other kits for more MYOG goodness, including our dog collar kit. Take some pictures while you're making, and tag us on Instagram. Thanks for watching.